After my last video introducing the Arduino, some of you commented that you needed an example of how the Arduino works that is super simple to understand. So in this video, we're going to do the absolute simplest of projects. We're going to attach an LED to pin 12 of the Arduino and make it blink on one second intervals. We're not even going to use a breadboard. This project will only require an LED, a 220 ohm resistor, and six lines of code. And two of those lines are just repeats with the LED state changed. In many of the Arduino tutorials on the web, they will show wiring the circuit without a resistor and attaching it to pin 13. They will claim pin 13 has an integrated resistor. This is true, but their assumption is wrong. The resistor is wired in parallel to pin 13 and only protects the integrated onboard LED. If you follow those tutorials, it is possible you will ultimately burn out the LED or even worse, fry the Atmega microcontroller. Don't do this, use a resistor. In order to make this project as simple as possible to understand, we're going to skip the breadboard completely. The first thing we're going to do is just wrap one leg of the resistor around the anode or positive lead of the LED. The anode is the longer lead. Now that we've done that, we will insert the cathode or negative lead of the LED into the Arduino ground pin. Now take the other lead of the resistor and plug it into pin 12. You can actually use any of the digital I.O. pins on the Arduino for this, and after this video you should experiment with moving it around and just changing the pin number in the code. That's literally all there is to the hardware side of this project. If you'd like more details, check out my article on thegeekpub.com. Now let's move over to the software side. Open the Arduino IDE. You'll see a void setup and a void loop. These are the two main functions of the Arduino. The setup function is where you configure things. The loop function is just like it sounds. All of the code put here will just execute over and over again for infinity or until the Arduino loses power. Above the setup function, let's add one single line of code. int led underscore pen equals 12. This just defines an integer variable and makes our code easier to understand. In our setup function, we just need to add another single line of code. pen mode, led pen, and output. This tells the Atmega that we're going to use pin 12 as an output pin to output 5 volts. In the loop section, we'll add two more lines to turn the LED on and wait one second. Digital write, LED pin, high. And delay, 1000. To turn the LED off, we just duplicate those two lines and change high to low as follows. Now save your code using file save and give it a name. I chose blinkled.ino. To program your Arduino, just click the arrow button at the top left corner and your code will compile and upload to the Atmega microcontroller. Within a second or two, your LED should start blinking. That's the power of the Arduino platform. It's incredibly simple and easy to understand. And with just a few more LEDs and a few lines of code you can find at thegeekpub.com, you can really ramp things up. Well, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one.